Today on Stamp TV, I have another quick tip video for you. I want to show you a way to make a double looped bow using more than one color ribbon for an interesting twist on a classic embellishment. Let me show you the tools that you need to make this little bow. First, you're going to need two kinds of ribbon, and they can either be the same size ribbon as far as width goes, or they can be different sizes. You can use one skinny and one thicker, depending on what look you want. I'm using the same uh, width ribbon, and also I'm using the same pattern, but two different colors. These are the Gina K Designs Red Hot and Black Onyx Gingham Ribbons. Then you're also going to need a pair of scissors and the bow easy, or you can use your fingers to do this if you've mastered that technique. You can also use a double pronged fork if you have one of those, maybe for your barbecue grill. Just be a little careful because they're a little bit pointy on the ends and you don't want to poke yourself. Maybe use one of the plastic ones. They're a little bit more gentle. So the first thing you're going to do is take these two pieces of ribbon and you're going to cut them at a pretty severe angle. So we'll do that. And that's so that you have a nice point that will feed through a little bit easier than a flat edge. Then the next step is to find whatever size bow you want to make. I'm going to use this larger side of the bow easy. And you want to leave a little bit of extra tail hanging out at the end so that you can cut it in a decorative way once you're done. Okay, so you're going to hold down the two tails, keeping the ribbon together, and you're going to make a normal single loop bow that you would make on the Bow Easy or with any bow making device that you have. You're going to feed both of those tails in together, making sure that they still stay joined. And then you're going to bring that piece up through that crack in between and Stick it through the loop. Make sure it stays together. It's a little bit tricky, but you'll get it. And then pull straight up on that to get a nice strong bow, strong knot. Okay. So there, now you have your two tails. Just position those tails first in the back to make sure that they're both going in the same direction that you want them to go. And then slip the whole thing off of the bow easy. Now we're going to cut the tails. We're going to cut them in the same direction. So that one will go in that way and then that one's going to be facing that way so you've got one line going across. Okay. Then to make that a little bit more decorative at the bottom, cut just the top layer a little bit shorter than the bottom layer so the bottom layer hangs out and do that on both sides so there's the bottom layer and now you can separate this any way you want you can either put the black on the top and the red on the bottom or you can do the red on the top and the black on the bottom I, I did another one so you can see the way it looks in both directions so there we've spread that out and have created a cute little bow with the red on the top. And here's one with the black on the top. I kind of like the black on the top because then it goes black, red, black, red. But use your judgment and you can also add a black button or a red button or even a white button with some baker's twine to add to that cute little embellishment. Try this quick tip using an assortment of thick and thin ribbons or mix different patterns and colors together for all kinds of fun looks.